This thing does have some awesome features that actually does make it the coolest welder I have in my garage. Uh, should we be concerned this is a frequently returned item? With coupon right now, I picked this up for $59.99 and it's not just the welder, there's a bunch of goodies inside. Forget about the Photoshop quality, check out those gloves. For once, I think they might have actually provided something better than what's actually in the pictures. Oh wait, these are just some extremely low quality gardening gloves. Honestly, all these pictures are pretty funny. You know, are, are they welding barehanded up in the gutter? Uh, that's like a two inch diameter rebar. And better yet, this is the Bluetooth wireless version without any cords or leads. It obviously comes with a welder, and really that's about all you care about. If, if you know me by now, you know I don't like the toothbrushes, and, and the face masks, you know, since it's just a single shade, just a little tiny thing that you gotta hold up, not worth it. And we already talked about the gloves, those are gonna probably be going in the garbage here shortly, but wait! They do give you a pretty sweet little draw bag, so you know, you can carry around your little portable, not so portable welder, you know, with all the cool kids. The welder is all plastic and fairly lightweight, you know, the qualities you do not want in a welder. Unless it's handheld, so I guess it's perfect. Now, it does come with this little adapter, and I'm actually serious about this feature being probably the whole reason why I like this machine. And that's because, if you can see, it's got a little DINS connection. And then over here, it's got a DINS connection, so you can actually switch this back and forth between DC positive and negative, and you, whether you want to, you can actually use this on another machine that has the same size DINS connection, and best of all, if you stick with me to the end, stick with me, yes, I know, okay. Then yes, I will show you how to actually not use this, but then hook up a TIG torch to it. It's 110 volt, so no, it's it's not a total portable. It's, you just hold it in your hand, which obviously begs the question on, if you gotta plug this in and you gotta plug in your other machines, then why? Now I was gonna make you wait till the end to actually throw it in some rods and get welding, but what the heck, let's do it right now. I'm starting out with some 6013 16th inch rods and this actually has a digital display up on top with an adjustable knob. So I went down and I think I'm running this about 30, 40 amps and it's actually running a bead. Bumping up the amperage a bit, and I threw in a 332nd inch rod, and we are running uh, just fine again with this. Switching over to the 7018, I did have to crank it up all the way, and it pretty much took everything it had to get that going. Now even though it can hold it, I turned it up all the way and stuck an 8th inch 7018 rod in there, and it can't do it. So maybe some of the other rods it can for that size, but... No on 7018. Even though it couldn't do an eighth inch rod, it's honestly exceeded my expectations. It's throwing down some somewhat of a decent weld. And push current can achieve effect that may. Now we could go line by line, but we'll end with this one. Now it could help out if you're not getting good weld penetration. It's that, well, maybe current is too big and stick diameter is too small. Sit back down, we are not done yet. So, as mentioned, we got the, oh crap. As mentioned, you've got a detachable adapter. So take this guy out. If you don't really care to be holding this welder up by your head and you know, the off chance that those good old transistors blow, you can easily hook up your good old trusty electro holder or stinger. So just get one with a DINS 25, that's what size this is, and it fits in there perfectly, give it a little twist, you're set. But that might not be why you're here. The coolest feature of all is, well, they have good old TIG torches with DINS 25 connections, so voila, stick it in there, we're TIG welding. Except I gotta add more stuff, I got the TIG torch and then gas, and we're almost TIG welding. Now there's no markings on the machine, but I'm thinking that it was probably set up that it was DCEP, meaning the electrode would come out and be positive. 
Well, TIG welding, you want that negative. So thus, so that's why I have my TIG torch going out to the bottom and then my ground is up on top. Let's see if this works. Now it is a scratch style, meaning you actually have to scratch the tungsten to the workpiece to get the arc going. But once going, it's actually a pretty stable arc and the weld didn't turn out too bad. Other than being a really pointless and extremely awkward type welder as you're up here with it, you know, right next to your head. It actually was fun switching things up with the different welds. So, I'm not telling you to get one, just weld responsibly. I'm Mechmaster, we'll see you next time.